How is it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Big Ten Championship recap video. Ohio State finally was beaten by the Michigan State Spartans 34-24 to in an upset victory. And I kind of saw this coming. I did. If you watch my preview video or my video, my, my pick video for the last week, I, I called for an upset. I think I said 30-27, to so I was pretty close. But I just, I've never been sold on Ohio State whatsoever, and it came to light today that that was rightfully so. I mean, they've not played a, a tough schedule by any means. It's been pretty much the same thing with Michigan State. I mean, they uh, both have one loss. But uh, it, it ultimately showed that the key to the game was Braxton Miller throwing the football. And that's what they did not do. They ran the football a little bit better than everybody expected. But ultimately, Braxton Miller was going to have to make some plays throwing the football. And he did not. He ended up like 8 of 23 for just a little bit over 100 yards, so he did not make the plays that he had to. The offensive line played very bad. The Michigan State defense had pressure on Braxton Miller all night, and Connor Cook, uh, he made some some uh, some bad decisions, some risky decisions. I might say not all of them turned out bad, but um, he made the plays when he had to. He's a gamer. He uh, he they did what they had to do. They converted on fourth downs. That was a, an awesome uh, call they had there. Nobody expected an option play from Connor Cook. But it was just a great game, great coach game for Mark D'Antonio, one of the best underrated coaches in all college football. He gets three-star recruits and turns them into prime-time NFL caliber defensive players, an absolute great defense. Like I said, they absolutely uh, pressured Braxton Miller all night, was all uh, always in the in the, um, in the the backfield. And uh, Lankford is an absolute great running back. He, he pounded the rock all night, and he got the – the yards when they needed to, and that's all that matters. They, they trailed. They were up 17 nothing, and Ohio State came with a comeback. But uh, Michigan State rebounded right back after that happened, and then they came back with a with a big uh, big win, big comeback, and they won the Big Ten. And now, if you're a Big Ten fan, uh, aka Jim Delaney, this makes you mad because either way, uh, the only thing this does, the only difference this this makes, is that Ohio State will not go to the national championship game, and that takes away all the big bucks for the for the conference. Even if Michigan State would have lost, they probably would have stayed in the Rose Bowl, and Ohio State goes to the national championship game, and that didn't happen. They lost. Now Ohio State will probably go to either the Sugar, more likely the Orange. So for both teams, obviously the Rose Bowl is going to be between Michigan State and uh, Stanford now, two conference champions. And probably there's two scenarios really. The the Orange Bowl will probably be either hmm. The Orange Bowl, I can see two things happening. Now that Auburn's gonna be in the national championship game, that's another the biggest thing that happens with this game is now that the uh SEC has a chance to continue a streak of national champions and national championships in a row as Auburn slide into the number two spot in the BCS and play Florida State. I might make a video on that in just a minute, but I'm not sure. But um, with that said, with the, both teams going, um, with the, the Florida State and Auburn going to, to the national championship, the two bowls with the tie-ins with the conferences, the ACC and SEC, get the first picks of who they want to go to the bowl games. The ACC is the Orange Bowl, SEC is the Sugar Bowl. Pretty is pretty uh certain that the Orange Bowl is going to pick Clemson and the Sugar Bowl is going to pick Alabama to replace Auburn. So those two are set in stone. Now it comes down to who does the Orange Bowl want to pick for their bowl game? Do they want to pick Central Florida, which would make sense because their first ever BCS bowl, they're right in the area. The, the fans would definitely fill up the stadium. Uh, the, they would be, uh, it might would have more fans there than they would Ohio State fans if they chose Ohio State. But you probably would go Ohio State in that route with the, the brand name. More viewers would, would tune in. So, But it, it really depends. Would they rather have more people watch or more people at the game? So it's either going to be Clemson versus UCF or UCF versus, wait, Clemson versus UCF or Clemson versus Ohio State and the Orange Bowl, I mean the Sugar Bowl, Alabama versus Ohio State or Alabama maybe versus Oklahoma or Oregon. And, I, I mean, people were saying the new projections come out just recently said Alabama versus Oklahoma, but I really don't see Oklahoma jumping up that far. Yes, they beat Oklahoma State. I, I just don't see Oklahoma jumping all the way up from 17 or 16, what they were at, to uh, uh, to in the 14s. I don't, I don't see that happening. But, um, I mean, anything's a possibility. Anything's a possibility. So, if I had to say right now, it's probably going to be Clemson versus Ohio State and 
Alabama versus either Oregon or Oklahoma. So that that's what happens there. But the biggest thing surrounding this is that it'll be Florida State versus Auburn in the national championship. And I know everybody in the country, um, well, SEC fans and Auburn fans are rooting for this. Uh, well, first of all, I want to well, say congratulations to Michigan State fans. That's a heck of a game, heck of a season. Completely came out of nowhere. I picked you before the season to win your conference. Everybody called me stupid. Go back and watch my, my preview video for the Big Ten Conference. That's who I had. And I was right. And that, I'm, I'm kind of proud of that pick. But played great defense. Connor Cook played great. And um, Jeremy Langford's an absolute beast. So uh, proud of, of the defense of Michigan State. And, and glad to see a guy like Max Bullock, one of the best uh, senior linebackers in the country, get a chance to play in the Rose Bowl with senior season. Well, well deserved. Ohio State also. Congratulations. I mean, it's been a, a, a good ride with Urban Meyer. What's that, 24 games in a row you won before today? So it does suck. I know it hurts to uh, – we've been there as Alabama fans. We've been there to uh, have a chance to play for the national championship, and then you get beat. Um, but still, a chance at a BCS Bowl for the first time since, I believe, the Sugar Bowl, and they, play, they beat Arkansas, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I'm sure they should still be excited for that. I mean, never know, though. Never know when a team plays for national championship. Cue the Alabama uh, – the game against Utah in 08, when uh, you're expect expecting to play for a national championship, then you have to settle for a BCS Bowl. Sometimes your team comes out flat, so you need to watch out for that. But um, anyways, it was just a good game. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this game in the comment section below. Are you happy with the result? If so, why? Are you mad? If you're a Ohio State fan, what do you think lost you the game? Some people I saw said this, uh, they were outcoached. Braxton Miller didn't play well personally. I think it's the fact that Braxton Miller didn't have success throwing the, uh, throwing the football. And that was huge parts of the, the so, uh, lots of pressure in the backfield. So I think it came down to Braxton Miller's arm and the offensive line not holding up in, the, in uh, pass protection. But that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I might come out with a Florida State Auburn video maybe here soon uh, at latest sometime this next week. So I'll come out with all my BCS Bowl uh, previews and everything this upcoming week. Uh, some just throughout the week, and I'll have one video where I predict all of my all the uh, bowl games, and that will be coming out sometime this next week. All these videos will be coming out next this this next week. So, hope you guys have a great week. I, I'm sorry if your team lost. If if not, congratulations. If your team won, Michigan State, Auburn, congratulations. Uh, congratulations to Florida State too. I didn't come on here and make a Duke and, and Florida State post game video, but didn't do that because it wasn't really necessary to blow out. This was a better game, so I came in here and wanted to make a video about this. It had a lot of other things to talk, to talk about, too. But that's it, guys. So like I said, comment below with what you thought about the game. Have a great week, guys. Roll Tide, go Sox, and go Titans, too. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, until next time, have a great week, guys. Be sure to catch out uh, to catch my videos throughout the week. Uh, talking about all the bowl games. Peace.